in this video we are going to see uh, how to pass array as parameter to functions in php so here let us see and uh, let us see that with an example here uh, this a php program where we declare an array and then we pass the array values to the functions so here uh, score is an array and we have initialized uh, well declaration itself we have initialized we have given the values here and with the keyword array the array is created so that the score is an array now after uh, this statement execution score will be an array which consists of the values 6532790 now we pass the score to the function called average average is a function which we have which the uh, which has been written now we explain this function uh, by with a keyword function and then average and then we pass this array here uh, it is a need not that both this uh, name of uh, this parameter name which you are passing actually, uh, and here uh, it can be different say for example here i have passed it as here it, it should be scores only because from the main program we call this function so while calling that function we pass the parameter actual parameter whereas here uh, this the value whichever is coming uh, in this parameter will be passed to this parameter so it need not be the same this will be local to this function so uh, here it can be the same name you can use or some other name but to that that you use the same name which you are using here throughout this function so first let us uh, the main concept of this program is to add all these values and find the average okay so now we pass this array then we declare a local variable called total and then we use the for each loop in order to iterate the array one by one the values in the array one by one so we already know the syntax for each and then within bracket you have to give the array name then as some variable a uh, local variable so what happens here it will uh, this for each iterate this array and then it takes one by one value and put it the uh, pass it value in this list. so in each iteration first uh, for example at the first then scores of 0 uh, the first uh, value in the score will be passed to dollar value. So if you see that the 65 is assigned to that, then when the next iteration 32 will be placed in this, then the next iteration 78 and so on. So this is how for each works. Now within the loop, what we do is we uh, uh, since this value is passed and assigned to that value, this value we are going to add. So dollar uh, total equal to total plus this value. So each time uh, that these values first initially it will be 65 uh, it is 0 here total is 0 so 0 plus 65 it is 65 is assigned to that then in the next uh, iteration already totally is having 65 65 plus now in this iteration the value will be 32 for this it will be 32 so 65 plus 32 so whatever is coming from that it will be assigned to the total again the next is 65 plus 32 plus 78 and so on finally all these values will be added and placed in the uh, variable total. Now, we check whether uh, sometimes the array which we pass may not have any value here. So, what happens? We have to check for that also. So, that is what we are doing here. So, the count is used to find the number of values in the array. This is a built in function. So, if count score means, so what it will return 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 is the value which will be written. But if sometimes we may not pass any values at all, this array may be empty array. In that case, it say no elements to average. There is no elements. But if it is above 0, even if one element is there, then we can find the average. So now the added value is in total. So what we do is total divided by count of score. This will give the average. So this is how it executes. So if you see this, the output will be uh, here. Uh, it is uh, declares a variable dollar score to be a variable. So explanation of this program is given in this. 
Now we'll see how it executes. So this is the program what I have shown in that. Uh, so array is declared, then we call this function. At least once we have to call it from the main program by passing this uh, array uh, variable. Then if we pass and it finds the average. Now when you execute this program, function underscore array. Function underscore See here the average was 67.8. The value is the program is executed and you can see the output. Now we'll see the next concept. Returning. Here it is not returning anything. This function is not returning anything to the main program. It is just a function, we just call it. But when we have to return some value, you have to give the keyword return, and then in the main program, you have to assign this function call to the right hand side and to the left hand side you have to get the value the return value in the variable so if you see this see let us say uh, let us see this same program how to return so for example here i can return this value return so Dollar total divided by amount of dollar cost. Now I want to return this. That is, this is the average. Okay. So this average will be returned to the main program. Now, how I can get that value by assigning AVG equal to. Now, what happened? This will be called and this will be executed. The value which is returned will be uh, allocated to this value. Now I can print that value here from main program. Dollar AG. Now we'll see how this gets executed from main program. This is inside the function and here from main program. So uh, when you give a return statement, this will be returned and it will be assigned and we are able to print it from the main program. Now we'll see one more example where you return the value. Here we have returned, we have calculated the average and we return only one value. But I may want to return some array. Here we are passing the array. The return may be also a, uh, elements, uh, array elements I want to pass. So how to do that? Let us consider this uh, program where we declare one variable and we call a function called create array. So first we will see what this create array will do. So here I have given the value 3. So that value will be assigned to this dollar number variable. Now what this program, what this function is doing is it, it uh, iterate up to this number for i equal to 0 uh, less than number and then uh, we declare a local variable called dollar x which is a array by giving that empty uh, square bracket we say this as an array and whatever the value uh, so first initially it will be here it is zero zero is assigned for x of zero then in x of one uh, the next value x one is assigned and so on till this value becomes number so here three is that so it uh, zero one two will be that there is zero one two will be the values assigned to this x here four so what happened? 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, if you see the number of elements is 4. But since it starts from the index starts from 0 and we start from assigning it, uh, assigning uh, this value, this value only here, uh, it will have uh, the values will be from 0, 1, 2, 3. So totally 4 values. So let us see the program again. This is a function which uh, get the value uh, through the for loop and assign it in an array. Now, what we do? Return dollar $x. Without the square bracket, you just send, uh, uh, send the, that is, you return the array values by mentioning its name. That's all. So here, create array. Now it calls this and this array is created and it returns. Now you can print that using print all. Then again, uh, we use the same function and we create another array. So with this has four values, here is the second array. So this is an example for how 
uh, were able to return the uh, array itself. Here we are returning only a single value, whereas in this we return array itself. Now we'll see uh, the execution of this program. See here, here is a first array, uh, index 0, it has 0 value, 1, 1, 2, 2, and then here and so on. So totally, if you see that, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because in our program, we are passing the value as array of 5. And here, 3. So first array has 3 elements, second array has 5 elements, which starts from, here it starts from 0 to 2, and here it starts from 0 to 4. That is what we are we have seen this. Okay. Now the next one, what we are going to see uh, is parameter reference that we will see in the next video.